guys, what is up? Welcome to Beer Geek Nation, I'm your host Chris. Um, I wanted to do a second beer cellar video. Um, it's grown <laughs> significantly since the last one I did, so I got a couple requests to do another one, so this is it. I do apologize, um, it's in kind of quite the state of disarray right now. I'm trying to get everything organized and on a spreadsheet and everything, and as you can see right here, I had to take a lot of beers off because it's starting to dip. I ordered a metal shelf. Um, so that's going to be coming soon, so I'm going to be updating anyways. But I want to give you guys an idea since everything is kind of spread out a little bit now. So start at the top here. And I got my flashlight so you guys can see a little bit better. All right, so there's a breakfast out. An old Coonan Brown Ale. Uh, 2010 Nemesis Port. Older Viscosity. I guess you guys can see these all right up here. Um, Lost Abbey Deliverance. I have two of those. There's another one somewhere. In the back. Yeah, that is a Lost Abbey Red Barn Ale, which is a spice saison. Absolutely phenomenal beer if you've never had it. Um, there's an old burn from Coonan, 2010. Here's a 2008 barley wine that I actually found in my grocery store. It was on clearance for $5.99 from Green Flash. I'm like, okay, I'll take that. Thanks. Um... What else? Here's a. That's my 1999 Santa Lada Bigfoot. That's a 2009 back there. Horny Devil from Alesmith. Night Stalker. Saison Barrette. That's gone on a year old now. Um, Dogfather. Imperial Stout back there. Yeah, Night Stalker. I think this was bottled in uh, like February, March of last year or something. Let me see. Uh, yeah, March of last year. I've got two bottles of that. There's another one back there. Um, breweries, two turtle dogs. I'm going to crack that one here pretty soon. Let's start reviewing holiday beers. That's last year's. A um, couple bottles of Double Bastard from last year. A new batch of that's coming out in November. Um, Omegeddon, which is uh, Omegang's Wild Ale. Um, that is a batch three, which is a 2008. And there's an Oak Age Jetty. Um, and one of the most underrated beers of all time right here, Sam Adams Imperial Stout. Um, it's an absolutely fantastic Imperial Stout, and it can be had for like, it's like 11 bucks for a four-pack or something, but it's like 10%. Um, it's absolutely phenomenal. I highly, highly recommend that beer. It's definitely great stuff. All right, so back in here. Um, got some Duck Rabbit, Imperial Stout, Double Bock. Um, back there is a, it's a 2007 Le Christmas beer, got some Hair of the Dog, Doggy Claws, some Fred back there, um, yeah, there's some Fred, there's Fred from the Wood, can't wait to try that one. Although I'm kind of weary about opening because I only have one bottle, but um, 2009 Three Fills. I always try to have a bottle of that sitting around. There's another old Yeti back there. That is a 2008 bottle. Um, what else? There's the other bottle of Deliverance. We got a Mirror Mirror. There's a Black Butte 21. Which, coincidentally, if anyone can get the 22, I haven't even seen it yet, but if anyone can get the 22, I'd be willing to trade for it. Uh, back there is the Shoots Jubal 2010. Avery's Quad. Um, Three Floyds. It's something. Brian Baroud. Castile. Then we got Smutty Nose Stuff. Old Stock. Ballast Point Victor at Sea. That's last year's. There's an Al Smith Grand Crew. Um, St. Barnabas F12, there's a d rogue double dead guy back there from like 2006, I don't know why I don't drink that, but whatever. A uh, bunch of Avery, two bottles of Kaiser from 2007, um, Belgian, or Omegang's Dubal, which is an awesome beer, and I think these are, yeah, there's some 0909 Vertical Epic, two bottles of that right there too. And what is this? Uh, Black Orchard from Brewery. Here's an old Guardian, I believe it's like a 2000. It's a 2009 right there. Carstrauss Anniversary, Castile Triple. Uh, 
bunch of smutty nose. There's the barley wine, uh, imperial stout, Baltic porters in there. The wheat wine is back there. I don't know if you can see that, but all right. So next shelf. Um, here's all my uh, what are these guys? Oh, Russian River. Duh. Uh, here's Temptation back in the corner, starting over here. Consecration, Redemption, um, Supplication is right there and there's another bottle of supplication back you can see that yeah, it's back in there <laughs> sorry it's dusty and there's a bottle of damnation back there uh green flash what the hell is that uh green flash grand crew i didn't even know i had that oh yeah so there's your chocolate of course Two bottles of last year's Brooklyn Chocolate Stout. Another absolutely amazing Imperial Stout that's dirt cheap. Um, actually, the new batch just came out, so I'm going to be reviewing that pretty soon. And we've got a bunch of uh, founder stuff. There's some breakfast stouts in there. And there's three bottles of 2008 KBS and three bottles of the current KBS. Uh, Imperial Stout from Sam Smith, which is good stuff. More Southern Tier, Mocha. I think I got an oat or Java. Um, Bell's Batch 9000. There's a 2007 Brooklyn Big Monster Barley Wine back there. Speedway Stout. And this is. Oh, this is the, the Kona Coffee um, Stone Collaboration beer. I've been aging that. Um, there's a Course and Donk. In the back there is a hennepin that's been cave aged since 2008. Batch 9000s back there. All right, and on the bottom here, I'm trying to watch my time. Two sixes of 2010 Bigfoot. Some Palo Santa Maroon. A couple bottles of Trugs Flying Mouflon. That's this year's. Their barley wine is awesome stuff. Uh, a bunch of bottles of Arabaca Quad. Old Numbskull, Giselle Smith's uh, barley wine. And this is actually a section I'm kind of proud of right here. There is every Trappist brewery except for Chimay is represented here, and I drank the Chimay. So, but here is uh, Koenigsoven, Rush, uh, Rush for, uh, how do you say that? Achel, Achel, not sure. Westmall, um, West Veteran, Orville, and uh, like I said, I'm missing a Chimay, but it's the one I used to do a review with. But I do have it. Um, there's four bottles of last year's Bourbon County Stout. There's this one right here is a 2008, and I've got some 2010 actually coming to me, so I'm psyched about that. What else? Uh, a bunch of Weyerbacher Insanity. See all that good cellar dirt on them? Good stuff. And a lot of this is kind of newer stuff. Um, it's a 2008 Santa's Little Helper, Terrapin Reunion. What's this? Oh, this is the first stone collaboration, the McKellar Triple. And... Sierra Nevada's Black Barley Wine. Got a review for that coming. This is La Roja from Jolly Pumpkin. Should be good stuff. Oh, there's Green Flash's Double Stout. And... You can see all those. Those are all the McKiller single yeast beers there. Those are actually new. Um, I gotta put those in the fridge. There's a 2010 Stone Old Guardian. Here's a Abyss 2009. Most expensive beer I, bought, I ever bought. Cotton. Here's a bottle of Lost Abbey's Serpent Stout. One of the best Imperial Stouts on the planet. Um, Ten Commandments. Old Viscosity. There's two bottles of 10 10 10 with a Cheerio from my dog. Two bottles of Founders Imperial Stout. And what is this? Oh, the Old Brown Imperial from Spotty Nose. And here's the two bottles of Fritz and Ken Stout. Bottle of Zur, Weyerbacher Tiny. Um, uh, Trois Pistoles, which is an amazing Belgian dark ale from Unibrew. And here's a bottle of the brewery's maple, autumn maple, good for aging. What 
is this? Um, Coding Zevin Quad. I think this is Dark Lord hanging out back there. Yep. There he is, 2000 the Dark Lord. And the rest of this stuff. Um, this is a bunch of Omega Green stuff. And the triple. The double. The double. And I think that's three fills, yeah. And in here we have this Ithaca's 12 Excelsior in the quad. Um, Terrible from Unibrew. This is the Imperial Hellas. Oops. Yeah, that's the Imperial Hellas Sierra Nevada. Hey, no, 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 no. Old Raspy 12th anniversary there. Another auto maple. V12 from Victory, it's their quad. And the Kuro from Allagash, that's a new. These are all uh, 2010 bottles. Dragon's Milk, got a review for this one coming out. Awesome stuff from New Holland. Pretty things brewing. For a while, Field Mouse, which is a uh, rustic gold now. So I'm assuming it's like a Belgian strong. And what is this? Oh, there we go. 2009 Kaiser. And another Battle Black Patriot. Um, that's a bunch of last year's uh, Stone Russian Imperial Stout. It's half Stone Russian Imperial Stout, half Double Bastard. Um, I've been aging, you know, some of those up there too. So, but a different angle. Oh, I'm sorry, that rogue's at 2008. But if you look down there, there's the cave aged henna pin. Yeah, so that's about it. Um, one other thing, if you guys really want to see it, this is kind of my uh, my mess that I'm finally starting to clean up. Um, this is all the boxes that I used to trade with. And we moved in this house about a year ago. And we haven't done anything with the basement yet, but we're getting ready to finish it. So this is all got to go. I got to break this down. <laughs> but it's all, I mean, you guys can see it. It's just boxes and boxes and boxes just ridiculous it is the chaos that is beer geek nation <laughs> but yes yeah, so uh that's about it that is the uh oh one other thing this poster so i got trap style beers repel zombies it's an amazing poster it was a northern brewer magazine uh, catalog cover I had a frame it's awesome stuff but with that said here it is here's the the, the um what is this thing called? The beer cellar. For the most part. It's going to be cataloged. I'm going to put in an Excel file and organize it. You know, uh, all breweries together and get it on metal shelves and all that good stuff. But I'll film it once it's done. So, again, thanks, uh, guys, for watching. And uh, let me know if you want to see anything else. Cheers.